we are going to be talking about what we started with last week, which is equations by inspection. Okay, All right. So I want somebody to raise their hand and I want to ask if they can help me with this particular sum over here. Oh, Mbali's hand went right up. Bulela, you got 90% on the quiz. That's amazing. That is amazing. Very well done. All right, Mbali, help me with this one. I'm thinking of a certain number. I'm thinking of a certain number. If I add three to that number, I'm going to get 13. Okay, what is that number? 10. Good, that number is going to be 10. Very well done. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to look at A being equal to 10. But we need to write it like a mathematical equation. We can't just leave it like that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say, what, what certain number? This certain number we're going to actually replace with a variable. What variable do you want to use to gain money? Choose a variable. M. M. Okay, let's go with M. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say this certain number is M. And if I had to add three, what would I write in a mathematical equation if I was adding three? It will be M plus three. Excellent. And what is that going to equal to? My answer, usually when I say the word that means equals. So it's going to be equal to? 13. 13. Okay. And then I'm going to use this word and I want you guys to remember it. Okay. It's therefore. And when we write therefore in maths, we write three, three dots like this. One, two, three. So you then have to say, <clears throat> therefore... M is equal to, and what did you say M was equal to, Mbali? M was equal to? 10. Good, 10. All right. Thank you so much, Mbali. That's exactly what I was looking for. You did that so brilliantly. Very well done. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, guys. I hope you guys are getting the idea. Can I get a thumbs up? Okay. Or thumbs down. How are we feeling about this kind of question? Okay. Sne says thumbs up, Rangwatu says thumbs up. I see you guys, amazing. Bulela also says thumbs up. Hermione, I'm happy to see you and I'm happy to see your thumbs up. Luandre as well and Kuba. Oh, that's amazing. How Spogufe, I'm seeing like one thumbs down. So I'm a little worried. Devashri, loving it. Excellent, all right guys. So we're going to um, continue um, with this. Cindy, can I ask you to DM teacher Kat with your request, okay? Bonolo's feeling a little hmm, iffy. Ramatu, do you think you can help Bonolo kind of turn all those thumbs down into thumbs up? Let's look at now. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of a certain number. What are we going to name that number? You get to choose. What is that number going to be? It's. Can I make it an X? X, of course, we can make it X. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply that number by five. Right, so I'm going to get, can you give me a, a sum? Can you give me a sum? What am I going to get? It's x times five equals to 30. And what is my answer? My answer is? 30. Good, so answer would mean equal. So I'm going to get x times five. Finish the sum for equals me. Equals to 30. Equals to 30. That's okay, Lesejo, that's okay. All right, and then I need you to say that that word that means those three dots. Remember how I said it? <clears throat> that yes. Mm -hmm. Go for it. It's x equals to six. Oh no, you can't you can't cheat me, Rama. You need to start by saying mm, therefore, and then you have to say. Oh, x. therefore, x equals to six. Wait. Excellent, amazing stuff. You did that so brilliantly. Very well done. Okay, amazing. Thank you. Okay, Luandre, can you do the last one with us? And this one is a little bit tricky. Okay, Sne, you did, I need you to raise your hand for me, please, Sne. Okay, and we can do, there are a lot more coming. Trust me, guys, there's a lot more of these coming. Okay, Luandre. Hello, Luandre, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. All right, choose a certain number. We're thinking of a certain number. What variable do you want to use for this certain number? Z. All right, let's use Z. That's a nice funky one. Let's use Z. Okay, now it says if I multiply that number by three, 
and add four to the result, okay, how am I going to write that? What is my mathematical equation? Z times three plus mm -hmm. four. Plus four. Okay, and my answer is 19. It's and 19. you know that answer means equals how much? Nine. Nine. 19. Not nine. 19. Good. Now we need to figure out what Z is. So I'm going to go therefore. Therefore, Z is five. Good, amazing. Z is equal to five because if I substitute five in here, I'm going to get five times three and that's going to give me 15 plus four is equal to nine. Amazing. Okay, well done. Amazing stuff. Now I'm so glad I was about to go explain again, but you, yeah, I'm glad that Randre, you see, you're helping Kungawa understand. Well done. Yes, ma'am. Awesome stuff. All right. I need more hands because we're going into like a lot of these, a lot of these. So if you guys want to raise your hand, we're going to be doing so many of these. Kungao, I would love to see your hand as well so that um, we can continue with this. Olufe, if you want to raise your hand as well, that would be great. Um, Bulela, do you need to work out how did you get the five? Um, not, you can just to make sure that your answer is correct. Okay. But we do, we do want you to make sure that the answer is correct. All right. Snare, would you like to unmute for me and do one A with me? Okay. And remember how we start. Okay. There we go. Okay. I've got X minus eight is equal to eight. And then I'm going to put three dots. How do I, how do I pronounce it? X minus eight minus eight. Okay, therefore, that's my three dots. So you have to say therefore. Therefore, the answer is. X is equal to? 16. Good, X is equal to 16. Okay, amazing. Snet, you need, just need to remember, we need to say it in that order. Okay, because it's important for us to express it like a mathematical equation. Okay, very well done. Rangwatu, do you mind if I ask Roli Bua to go next? Okay, because you've just answered one for us and you answered it so beautifully. Okay, Roli Bua, do you want to do B with us? Uh, yes, please. Okay, let's go. All right, so we know. Go for it. Therefore, X mm -hmm. equals 13. Good, X is equal to 13 because 13 plus 7 um, will give us 20. And uh, very, very well done, Roli Bua. I never doubted you for a second. I knew you were going to get it. Okay. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> I just found out, <laughs> Teacher Kat, that we actually have two Kungawas in our class now. So we're going yep. to have to <laughs> we're going to have to figure out, just like our two Luandres, we're going to have to figure out how to call our two Kungawas. <laughs> this is going to be difficult, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ramatu, do you want to do the next one for us, please? Let's do C. Uh, Ma'am, C, it's kind of tricky, but I'll try. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, therefore, X equals to 2. To two, exactly, is equal to two because 16 divided by two would give us eight. A. Okay, amazing. Um, amazing you, stuff, very well done, Ramwato, very well done. Sne says, ma'am, in a test, if you get, will you get it wrong if you use either variable like M or X? It depends. In this particular one, the question gives us X. So our answer needs to be X. Okay, let's say for instance, they didn't write X here. If they had written M, then I can't then go therefore X is equal to two. I then have to write therefore M is equal to two. Okay. Make sure guys, okay, that you're using the correct variable. You're using the variable that they gave you. I hope that makes sense to you, um, Snake. Okay. Caleb is already giving me answers in the chat. Olwa, can you do the next one with us? Let's do D. Um, hi, miss. 
Mm -hmm. Hello, Laura, how are you? Good. Excellent. All right. Tell me what is x equal to? And remember to start with therefore. Um, okay, therefore, mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be like 16 divided by 2. Oh. So remember, if you're doing opposite, it's going to be the opposite of divide, which is times. Mm -hmm. So what therefore x is going to equal to? Um x is going to equal to so you do you basically say 16 times 2 yes in a sense yes then how come number c you divided um because on in number c the x is at the bottom and in this one the x is at the top you see that oh mm -hmm. and that's actually something called an inverse operation we're going to talk about that on um on wednesday okay so i'm what i'm actually doing and check ranve's answer and bulela's answer in the chat what i'm actually doing is saying what divided by 16 will equal two that's what i'm doing at. okay so 16 times 2 would be 32 so x Good. equals so, 32 exactly because 32 divided by 16 will equal two now i understand Absolutely. Yes, because I was so kind of confused when when the variable was at the top and then the constant was at the bottom, even if it was swapping okay. around. Yeah, it's it's a little bit tricky, but we're going to talk about that on Wednesday. OK, so hold on. Hold on to that. OK. OK. Excellent. Excellent. OK, Nkaniso, do you want to unmute and do E with me? Yeah. Okay, remember to, to mute um, for me. Oh, I can't remember. Okay, guys, remember to stay on mute. Okay. Except for Nkanyiso, because Nkanyiso is answering this next question for me. Okay. Nkanyiso, are you there? Yeah. Excellent. All right. So what am I going to write for E? Five times X is equal to 40. Yeah, after, after X, X equals A. Eight, good. And remember, it's not there after, it's therefore. Okay. Yes. Therefore. But but great try. Great try. Okay. Thank you. All right. Excellent stuff. I'm glad you got the answer right. Rather, the answer is the important part. Okay. Londe, can we do F together? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just hold on one second for me. Don't yes, go away. Kunao. Kungawa is asking, how is it eight? Kungawa, what's five times eight? Five times eight will give us 40. And that's why we're saying that X is equal to eight. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, Luande, do you want to take it away? Let, let's do E. Oh, F, sorry, we're doing F. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, now remember again, eight times X means to give us 40. So what am I going to write underneath here? Therefore, x is equal to five. Excellent. Therefore, x is equal to five. Oh, amazing, amazing. Very well done, Monday. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, great. When you look at they've been using therefore until grade five. I'm glad. Uh, Inati, do you want to do 2a with me? And now they're getting a little bit tricky. Okay. Or a, just a teensy bit harder. Okay, let's look at the next one. Let's look at 2a. 84 divided by x is equal to 7. What am I going to say? Inati, are you there? Hello? Oh, no. OK. There we go. Can you help us with 2a? Let me say so. I'm going to need you to unmute for me. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to move on to Rangwato. Okay. Rangwato, can you unmute and help me with 2A? Uh, Ma'am. I did it like this. I said uh, 84 divided by 7. Mm -hmm. And what answer did you get? My therefore x equals to twelve. 
yeah, excellent. You did it correctly. You could do it either way because they they work either way. Okay. Yes. All right. So therefore, x is equal to twelve. Twelve. Eighty four divided by twelve is going to give us seven. Very well explained. Okay. Excellent stuff. But we hear you're also you're also getting giving us the right answer in the chat. Amazing stuff. All right. Um, Londre again, give me so I want to see if we can unmute you again, but you're going to have to click unmute on your side. Okay, Londre, can I ask you to do 2B for me? Yes, ma'am. Maybe, okay, all right. What am I going to get? Therefore, therefore, X is equal to nine. Equal to nine, excellent. Kungawa, you can do it like that, okay. He's saying that we can swap it around. Very well done, Rante. I had no doubts you were going to get this one right. Thank okay. you, man. Excellent. Okay. All right. I want to. I want us to do the last two in the chat. Okay. So if you guys can get an answer in the chat for C and D, please put it in the chat. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm getting the answer for C in the chat. Excellent. Everyone is telling me. And a lot of you, thank you. Uh, I think I'm seeing someone named S Ntembu. I think the surname is Ntembu, but the name is not. The name starts with an S. I love how you're remembering to put the therefore at the beginning of the sound. So I'm going to go therefore X is equal to. Well, guys, you can't forget my therefore. Okay, I need you guys to remember my therefore. Okay, excellent, Lilente. I see you. Thank you, Nondumiso. And you did say that that's someone else's name. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting it. That's okay, Nkaiso. All right, let's do D quickly. D. And I need you guys to start the way I need you guys to start. Thank you, Ramatu. Ramatu says, therefore, X is equal to 24. I just need to check with you guys. Okay, I just need to check with you guys. Please make sure that you are you are muted on your side. Okay, so can you guys, can I please just ask you guys to please check your settings or check your, your little button for the mic and make sure that you are muted, please. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Excellent, thank you so much, guys. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Shivambu. Shivambu is like, therefore, X is equal to 44. Can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down? How are we feeling about these kind of sums? Because I'm going to tell you guys now, oh, it might not, it might not get easier. Rangwatu gives me a thumbs up. Lange gives me a thumbs up. Rolivua is thumbs up. I got a positive from Olwa. I love it. Okay. Devashri as well. Kungao. I'm waiting for the other Kungao as well. Sia Bongo just gave us the answer. <laughs> oh, I've got thumbs down from Buhe. Buhe, um, I'm hoping if you do have a question, you will either DM uh, teacher cat or put your questions in the chat so we can help you as best as we can. Kungao, can you tell me where did we lose you? Okay, you need to explain to us how we lost you so that we know how to help, okay? But, okay, we're almost there. So let's yeah, was like, I did something similar to this at school, so he's okay. All right, guys, I'm liking it. Excellent stuff. Now we're going to move a little bit further, okay? Oh, okay, we're confused with C. Which C, no matter who, which C are you confused with? One C or two C? 1C. Okay, let's look at 1C again. Okay. So now we're looking for a number. Okay, because this this line over here actually means divided by. Okay. In Tikello, I'm going to get to that one as well. This line over here actually means divided by. So the sum actually reads, it reads 16 divided by x is equal to 8. So which number or which number if I divide into 16 is gonna give me eight? 16 divided by what gives us eight? Can you guys help us out in the chat? 
No, my Kluvi says two, I'm glad. Two, good. 16 divided by two. That's why we then say, therefore, X is equal to two, because if we replaced X with two, my answer would be correct. 16 divided by two would indeed give me eight. Are we okay with that concept? I hope you're okay with it. Okay, excellent, Kungawa, I'm glad. Okay, somebody was saying that they're a little bit lost about 2C. Okay, now let's look at 2C. Okay, I'm looking for a number, something plus 56 is equal to 100. Okay, what is the something? Let's think about it. Something plus 56 needs to give me 100. Olo says, but if it was the bottom, it would be 32. I'll explain why just now. Thank you, Luandile, for writing it so beautifully in the chat. It's 44, because when I add them together, I'm going to get 44 plus 56 is equal to 100. Therefore, therefore, x is equal to 44, because if I replace x over here by 44, 44, plus 56 is equal to um, 100. And I am um, I hope I'm saying your name right, Abdi Rahman. Um, you can do the inverse, yes. Yes, you can use the inverse, but we're going to learn about that a little bit later. I just don't want to confuse people who don't understand yet what an inverse is. So I'm loving the enthusiasm and I'm, I'm, I'm like mind blown that you guys already understand what an inverse is, but um, I need you guys to remember that some people haven't seen the inverse yet and they don't understand what it is. So we're taking it a little bit slowly. Okay, Ntikelo, no, it wasn't a multiplication, it was a plus. Okay, so 44 plus 56. Okay, all right. Okay, now they're going to get really tough. So what we're going to be doing is solving by inspection. We're not gonna do that first some because it's way too easy. I wanna move this down a little bit. I don't think we're going to need it, but we are going to be looking at these. Okay. D and C are the same. Yes, just phrased differently. All right, so here's what's going to happen, guys. We're going to be looking for a number for X. Okay, we want X to be something. So we're going to go, therefore, X is equal to something or other. Okay, but remember, guys, X over here, X over here, and x over here need to be the same number. But we're also going to notice that on this side over here, we are multiplying by x. And on this side over here, we are adding x. But x needs to be the same number. Who thinks they know what that number is? Okay, just want to lower everybody's hand because I want you guys to think about it before we answer. Okay, think about it before you give me an answer. If you can, you can put it in the chat. Oh, forget what I'm doing. Okay, Nondubisa says, oh, I think I got it. Nganisa says, I think I know. All right, do you want to unmute for me? Hi, can you spoke? Hi. Mm. All right. Therefore, x is equal to what do you think? Could it be seven? Seven. Seven. Okay, seven. Um, I'm seeing uh Konke say that she doesn't understand, but I'm about to explain. Okay, thank you for that, Nkaniso. Guys, this is what we're gonna do. Check what we're gonna do here quickly. Uh Nganiso just said that X is equal to seven. So what we're going to do is we are going to substitute seven wherever we see an X. Okay, so do this with me, Nganiso. I'm going to write X as seven. So I'm going to get seven. Finish the sum for me, seven. Plus five. Seven plus five. How much is seven plus five going to give us? Twelve. Good, twelve is equal to two times, and I see another X, so I'm going to replace it with seven. What's two times seven? 14, oh, it's not the same. 14, 14. 
Is 12 equal to 14? No. No. So our X cannot be equal to seven, okay? Because it doesn't give us the same number on both sides of the equal sign. Okay, do you guys see that? Okay, I'm seeing a, a few people already gave me the right answer. Mbali, what do you think the answer is? Lande literally gave us the answer. What is the answer, do you think? X, therefore, X is equal to? 10. Oh, let's, let's try 10. If I go 10 plus five, how much is that gonna give me? Ten plus Ten. five? No, miss, it's five. Five, oh, okay. I heard 10, Bali. I was just following instructions. <laughs> okay, so if I mean, X is equal to five, I'm gonna get five plus five. What's five plus five? 10. Excellent. And that's going to equal to two times five. And that's going to give us? 10. Good. Now is oh. 10 equal to 10? Yes. Yes, they're equal. Therefore, X is indeed equal to five. Excellent oh. work, Mbali. Very well done. Okay. That means that X is equal to five. Okay. You can mute for me, my brother. Thank you. Okay, Patson, you're saying to me B is also five. Can you tell me why? Come show us how you got to the answer five. Okay. Excellent, Jeanette. I'm very, I'm very happy that you understand now. Okay, remember guys, we're not always gonna see the answer immediately. So what we need to do is test a couple of numbers before we get there. Okay. Um, Sipesi, I need you to um, connect to your audio. Patson, is that you? Yes, I'm. Um... Hello, Patson. I haven't heard your voice in such a long time. Uh, <laughs> All right. Explain to me. Okay, what am I going to write as my last statement here? I'm going to go, therefore. Therefore, five times five. Oh, no, no, no. Therefore, K. K equals five. Good. Now you can do the sum for me. Start again. Therefore, five times five equals 20 plus five. Good is equal to 20 plus five, which is all going to give us 25 on both sides. Patson, I always knew you could do it. You're hiding in the shadows, but I know you're listening. I see you. Okay. Very well done. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Panasha, that's okay. That's okay. Very well done, Patson. Okay. Sipe Sife, do you want to unmute for me and help me with this next one? Okay. Um, I don't oh, okay, I need you to mute for me. Can you mute? Oh, oh my word. All right. Can I ask you to quickly leave the class and then come straight back in? Because I think your audio is a little, yeah. Okay. A little, oh, a little rough today. Okay. Uh, so I know you know the answers. I can see your hand is always like up here and I hear you. Can I ask Ntikelo to answer this next one for us? Because um, because they're here, he hasn't had a chance to speak. Okay. Ntikelo? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hello. Hi, my sweetie. Okay, we're going to do C together. Okay. And remember, um, you don't have to give us the right answer the first time. We're going to try a couple of numbers until we get to the right answer. Okay. Okay. All it's right. So two. what do you think Q we can start with? Q, Q can be equal to? Two. Okay. So you want Q is equal to? Two. Two. Okay. Let's, let's test with two. Okay. So what am I going to get on the left-hand side? I'm going to get two times, finish two. the sum for me. Uh -huh. Two times equal two equals two. to 18, 18 mm -hmm. minus two. 18 minus two. So what's two times two in Tikelo? It's four. It's four. And that's equal to what's 18 minus two? 16. 16. Hmm. Is 4 equal to 16? Are they equal? 
No, they're not equal, eh? 44 and 16 are not equal. So that means Q can't be two, okay? Okay, the Q cannot be equal to two. And Lelente, no, because Q is on both sides, Q has to be the same on either side. Okay, Ntikelo, let's, let's try another number. Pick another number. Try a higher number, go up a little bit. Six. Oh, okay, let's try six. Good. All right, tell me what the right hands are. Oh, give me the sum, let's go. What is it gonna be? Two times six. Mm -hmm. Is equal to? 18 minus six. Good, what's two times six? Twelve. Good, it's twelve. And what's eighteen minus six? Six. Twelve. It's twelve. There. And is twelve equal to twelve? Yes. Absolutely. Therefore, Q is equal to six. Six. Okay. Excellent stuff. All right. Very well done, Ntikelo. Do you see how we do these sums? You don't always have to get it right the first time. You can try different numbers until you get to the right answer. Okay. okay. Excellent. Okay. Rolivua, do you want to do D with us? Uh, yes. All right. Okay. Pick a number. Therefore, T is going to be equal to? 11. Okay, um, and that's because she already did a process of elimination earlier on. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> all right, give me the sum, let's go. Um, 11 times, uh, sorry, three times oh, 11 no. equals First. 11 plus 12. Uh, and each 12. side, oh, sorry, 22. Good, 22. And then what's three times 11? Uh, 33. 33, excellent. And what's 11 plus 22? Also 33. Also 33. And 33 is equal to 33. So we know that T is equal to 11. Excellent stuff. Very well done. Thank you. Okay. Sure. All right. So I now need to see thumbs up or thumbs down. How are we feeling about this? Okay. I think a couple of people are maybe a little confused. No much. Ruby gives me up, down, up. Rangata says up. Caleb says thumbs up. Luante says thumbs up. I'm glad. Guys, if you're not understanding, it's fine for you to say, ma'am, I'm not getting it. Okay, Kimi Seto is not getting it. So we're going to do a couple more examples. Devashri says she gets it. Okay. Abdi Raman, I hope I'm saying your name cor correctly. No crazy, still lost. Kungao is still lost. And S. Mtemdu is also lost. Okay, that's fine. We're going to do another example. Okay, Cindy, we're going to we're going to do another example. Okay, here's another example over here. Okay. It's not quite the same, but remember guys, you don't have to get it right the first time, okay? You don't have to get it right the first time. To get it right the first time. Okay, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna say, okay? Because I think you guys are seeing other people get the right answer and you're like, oh no, ma'am, I didn't get the right answer. What's wrong? No, there's nothing wrong. You're supposed to try different answers. Okay. Okay, Panache, can I ask you to raise your hand for me or can you unmute so that we can try this one together? Okay. Teacher Kat, can you find Panache for me? Yes, I've unmuted. Well, I've sent the request. That's okay, Ola. Panache, can you unmute for us? Hello? Hey. Hello, Panache. How are you? 
I'm good. Thanks for yourself. I'm good. Thank you. All right. So let's look at this sum over here. And you so you don't have to draw the table. What I want you guys to do is write down this equation over here. Okay. Manasha, do you see this equation that I'm highlighting in pink? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna test different numbers to see what X, you see this, this letter X over here? Yes, ma'am. We're gonna try different numbers to see what X could possibly be. And it doesn't have to be the right number, okay? I'm saying we're gonna try X is equal to five. Okay, so we're gonna take X and we're gonna replace it with five. Okay, but we're gonna do it over here. Can you give me the sum if we replace X by five? I'm gonna get two, oh, let me just erase this quickly. I'm gonna get two times, can five. you continue with the sum? Times five, good, plus? Plus 13 equals 37. Plus 13 equals 37, okay. What's two times five, though? 10. It's 10. And if I add 13, how much is that going to give me? 10 plus 13 would give me? 23. 23, good. But my answer on this side says 37. Right, is 23 and 37 the same number? No. No, so that means that's definitely not the answer. So my conclusion is that X is not equal to five. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we need to try another number. You can choose another number. What do we want X to be? Choose another number. Ten. Okay, let's try ten. X is equal to ten, and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go two times ten plus thirteen is equal to thirty-seven. Okay, what's two times ten? Twenty. It's twenty plus thirteen is going to give us how much? 20 plus 13 is going to give us 33. Is 33 and 37 the same? No. No. So what is our conclusion? That X is not equal to 10. So we, keep, we need to keep checking for a number that's going to give us the right answer. And I think, I think Bulela gave us the right answer. Okay. Bulela says that X is equal to 12. Do you want to test X is equal to 12 with me? Okay, let's test it together. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to get two. Finish the sum for me. Two times 12 plus 13, good, is equal to 37. What's two times 12? Um, do some quick mental maths. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twenty. How much is it? Twenty-four. 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 Good. Twenty-four plus thirteen. How much is twenty-four plus thirteen? Thirty-five. Ooh, count again. 30, count again. It's thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. It's 37, it's 37. So what do we know? What can we conclude? That X is equal to? 37. Not 37, what did we replace X with? X is equal 12. To, to 12. So 12. my X is going to be equal to 12. So the solution is equal to 12. Okay. Thank you. Okay, do you see what we did? You don't have to get the answer right the first time. You just have to choose whatever number you think and try it until you get to the right answer. Do you see it? 
Yes, ma'am. I'm I'm so glad you see it. Kemi said, so I hope that's a thumbs up. Thank you so much, Ntikelo. You really helped quite a few people in the class today. Okay. Very well done. Okay. Kemi said, so I hope you're understanding how we got to X is equal to 12. All right. I want all of you guys to test this next one here, over here, and give me an answer in the chat. Okay. I'm going to see how many different answers. I, can't, I'm, I want to see how many different answers we can get for this one right before we go into the brain break for knowledge. So we're going to go into the brain break. Okay. This one is a pretty tough one. Okay. I'm, I'm sure you guys can use your calculators for this one. Think we're going to try maybe let's try x is equal to 10 we'll start there okay i'm going to do this one quickly while you guys are trying to figure out the right answer for me remember try everything that you can okay so i'm going to go 40 times 10 minus 21 i'm seeing so many people already in the chat with the right answer <laughs> okay this is going to give me 140 minus 21 is not equal to 77 Therefore, I can conclude that X is definitely not equal to 10. All right. I'm going to try your guys' number. Let me try X is equal to 7. Let me see. X is equal to 7. I'm going to get 14 times 7 minus 21 is equal to 77. Therefore, 14 times 7 is, isn't it 90, 98, 80, 89? Guys, help me out my maths. Yo, yo, yo. It's 98, isn't it? 98 minus 21 is equal to 77. And that is indeed the correct answer. Therefore, x is equal to 7. Okay. Thank you very much for those of you who helped me bring my brain back. Yes. Thank you, Ola. It is. It's 98. I was a little bit lost there. All right. Now, for those of you who are a little confused, oh, I'm erasing the correct answer. Sorry. Okay. Can I get a thumbs up or a thumbs down? How are we feeling about this? Okay, remember you can choose however many answers you want. Um, he, Kemi Seto now says thumbs up. I'm so glad. Bulela, thank you so much. And Hermione as well. And now I'm, I hope you guys are getting it. You don't have to get the right answer the first time you do it. You get to choose different numbers over and over. Oh, guys, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna revisit this one, okay? because we're going to take a bit of a brain break. Okay, Panache, I'm so glad. Okay, for those of you who don't quite understand, I would advise you to, we're going to put the video back up on our website and I want you guys to watch it again. Okay, okay. So that we can we can get a sense of where we are. Watch it again and see if you, you can kind of get where we're going. But we'll try a couple more of them in the next lesson as well. Okay, let's go to our brain break. Okay. Teacher Kat, are you going to help me with this one? Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, remember we we're talking about how if I have like 16 over 4, I call this thing over over here, my answer is going to be 4. So what would this one be if I have the over sign over here? What is this one actually going to be called? Working over time. Working overtime, working overtime. All right, so I think Anissa's like, what is a brain break, guys? Someone help me. Okay, <laughs> I forgot to explain for those of you who are new. I'm so sorry, guys. And I should have asked you guys to introduce yourself. <gasps> Teacher Kat, we've completely forgot um, to ask them to introduce yourself. I know. Okay, so a brain, break, <laughs> a brain break is when we take a break from all the maths and we kind of just play a fun little break and we take a little bit of, yeah, we play a fun little game and we take a break for like one minute or two minutes. So you guys can do something else that isn't quite so taxing and we have a little bit of fun. Okay. And then in, in this case today, we're doing reverse puzzles. Um, the other class was like, they wanted to go on a cruise again. I don't know if you guys also want to go on a cruise again next week. Um, but, uh, or on Wednesday, you guys will let us know, but on in the other class, we're going on a cruise, okay? 
All right, so I, you see this one says working over time. I want you guys to try these, okay? Try these ones. Let's see if someone can get what number one is, what number two is, and what number three is. Okay, what do you guys think number one is? Who has an idea? Um, U24, mm. not quite. Mm, I saw Ola's hand go up. Ola, do you think you know? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm very uh, sorry. Um, um, I think you gave us an example when you said, um, you gave us like a hint when you said um, mm -hmm. work over time. So, mm -hmm. so what, what would this one be? Check the chat. People are really giving the right answers in the chat. Um, this number looks familiar. Like, it's like it can't be like an hour, but don't you like say twenty four over uh seven? Yes, like or when we say twenty four seven, right? You know when oh, we say twenty four seven. Oh, uh -huh, you're tricking you us. You're tricking. <laughs> so if you count them there's one two three four five six seven of them so this is 24 7 you see it okay uh, i get it now okay so that's how they work all right i want to see who can get number two try try number two as well Ola. okay all right roli Gua, do you think ah no my phoebe has got the right oh. answer no, roli Gua, what do you think number two is I I think it's out of the blue. Exactly. It's out of the blue because our the is written in blue. So this is out of the blue. There we go. Excellent. Number three is a busy, it's an easy one. Yes, you all Jeanette says all out of the box. Yes, because it is kind of in a box. Okay, I like that one. Okay. The last one, number three, is pretty easy. It's a Tongue twister, yes, your tongue twister. There we go. Tongue twister. Oh, Kungawa, you may need to like uh, zoom out or zoom in on your screen if you can't see number three, okay? You, probably your screen is skewed a little bit. Okay, this one is a tongue twister. All right, guys, we are going to have a look at one more thing before we go, but first we're gonna stretch. Everybody, hands all the way up in the air. <laughs> Okay, hands up in the air and then all the way down <laughs> and then forward and then back. Okay, all right. Whew. Okay, sure, guys, we're doing a lot of maths today. I don't know about you guys, but my brain is, is also kind of like, ooh. yeah, okay. All right, so we were looking before we were looking at kind of doing a process of elimination um, can you saw i like that i wish lessons were every day me too dude me too okay but now we're going to be looking at something called the inverse operation okay we're going to be looking at the inverse operation everyone in the chat who was talking about inverse operations now is your time to go, yes, ma'am, I know exactly what inverse operation is. Yeah, okay, I know you guys know that the answer is four because it's easy, 10 is gonna be four plus six. But, oh, thank you, non dumiso is like, therefore, Z is four. So the rest of you guys, no, no, non dumiso is the right one. Z, therefore, Z is equal to four. Thank you, non dumiso. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be learning about um, inverse operations. Okay, uh, Abdi Rahman, if you're having trouble with unmuting, it's because we've blocked the mute and you need to put your hand up so we can unmute you. Okay, all right, and it gets a little bit tricky. Okay. So what we're actually going to be doing is the inverse operation. Who knows how to do an inverse operation? Okay, I need hands. Okay, I need hands. I wanna see who knows what it is. There we go, Abdi Rahman, I'm gonna ask you to help me with this first one. Okay, but I also need you to connect to your audio quickly. Okay. 
bump is like, yes, yes, I see you, I see you. Okay, Abdurrahman, if you're having a bit of trouble connecting to your audio, um, I need you to hold on for me. I'm going to ask you another question as we go. Um, Nondu Miso, can I ask you to unmute? Those of you who have your hands up, I know you guys have the right answer for me. Nondu Miso, if you want to unmute for me and let's talk about one, number one. Okay, I need you to click the speak button. Okay. Nondu Miso, are you there? Hello. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Okay, let's talk about number one. Okay. Um, let's talk about number one. Okay. We are trying to do the inverse operation. Now, I'm going to teach you guys about this tiny little thing called a wall that sits over here. Okay. And, or as my teacher used to call it, my teacher used to call it over the rainbow. And he used to tell us a story about how when he was a child, he didn't like rainbows because his dad told him that if he crossed the rainbow, he would turn into a girl. And if a girl crossed the rainbow, they would turn into a boy. And he didn't like rainbows at all. But what we're going to do is we're going to do an opposite uh, operation on the numbers or on the constants that are sitting on their own. Okay. Do you know how to do that? Do you know how to do the, the opposite uh, yes, operation or the inverse operation? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now I want Z all by itself. I want it to sit on the side of the equal sign all by itself. That means I have to take positive six over the rainbow. And what is positive six then going to become? Um, minus six. Good. So I'm going to have 10 minus 6 is equal to Z. Right. What's 10 minus 6? 4. 4. Good. 4 is equal to Z. I can therefore say, therefore, Z is equal to 4. You see how we do that in Dundu Miso? I know you already knew how to do it, though. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Okay. We're going to be learning a bit more about over the rainbow or over the wall, as some teachers call it. Very well. Thank you very much, Nandimsoff. 